The Indy Memphis Film Festival is an exciting and ever-growing event. Now in its 15th year, the festival's future will be determined by the upcoming general election for executive director. Three distinguished gentlemen are considered the frontrunners for Race, Race for, for the, the ED. ED. This is Roland Gaines, a family man and lover of cinema. For the last eight years, he has run the A. Mays Festival in Iowa, a celebration of corn and corn-related films. And this year's prestigious Corny Award goes to 70 Years in Tibet. I think a film festival should reflect the tastes of the American public. Like um, uh, me, for instance, I'd like to see the Fast and Furious movies, one through six the way they were meant to be seen. Back, to back, to back, to back, to Roland's opponent is Derek Carlisle, a self-proclaimed professional realizer. His latest project, The Existential Extravaganza, turned many heads in the art and film world. This is a mind-blowing experience. It's you, yourself, in your mind, making the movie as it plays on the big screen. Ugh, what a cliche ending. What is a film? Then there's the incumbent, Eric Jambor. He's a man with very few words for his campaign. Yeah, I'm confused. This is not an electable position. This will no doubt be an interesting election season. Who will be the audience choice for Indy Memphis's next executive director? It didn't take long for the executive director election to get nasty. Negative videos and commercials left and right came out of the woodwork. Some videos more damning than others. 47%. That's how much I watch of the video. Because if you can't move me, if you can't prove to me that it is a quality piece of entertainment after 47%, buddy, you're going on the rejection pile. You know what? Because I ain't got time to watch 100%. 47% is all we need. I'm Derek Carlisle, and I acknowledge the existence of this message. While Derek Carlisle went with an attack on Gaines, Gaines himself had his target set on the incumbent, Eric Jambor. Yeah, I'm confused. This is not an electable position. Eric Jambor says your vote doesn't matter. And Eric Jambor has been known to accept films that aren't even made in America. Stick to your guns. Stick to Roland Gaines. Insiders have speculated that Jambor's hands-off campaign strategy has been the reason behind a surprising surge in support for a fourth-party candidate and his overtly grassroots campaign. Is it connected? Yeah, I'm just going to use a little more duct tape. Okay. You know what you're going to say? Uh, something about wanting to do my best, uh, great films, great panels, uh, people, uh, just give it my all. Sounds good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm hitting record now. Hi. With the election just around the corner, the media is in full swing. Welcome back to Roundtable. Gaines Camp, what's all this crazy bird talk about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, all I said was, I have doubts about the Mockingbird mascot. That is all I said. He wants to get rid of the Mockingbird. He wants to kill our beloved Chirpy. Hey, hey, hey. First of all, that's not even his official name, all right? And I think we have more important things to talk about. Like, what is this award for the best use of the ninth dimension? I mean, what does that even mean, huh? I have binders full of filmmakers that are eligible for that viable Well, you can go award. peddle that stuff they somewhere else, buddy. Beans. I'll tell you that right now. You would not understand Corn Man. Let's go out to the Dark Horse candidate.
Dark Horse is going down to Malfunction Town. Team Jambor, what do you got? Just please leave me alone. I'm trying to run a film festival. We've got plenty more coverage round the clock of the Indy Memphis special election coming up. Can this squirrel predict the winner? As the election looms ever closer, the candidates begin to show signs of stress. If you have a film and a festival, you didn't make that. It's light and electrons and tiny ones and zeros on magnetic tape and atoms that have existed long before your stupid idea and will exist long after any fame you think you warrant. <sighs> I don't want to be directing executive of Indie Memphis anymore. Vote for Eric Carlisle. Universal Film School, I went back in. Reshoot. It's Derek, by the way. Hey, look, it's our festival director. Just want to say a few words to him. What? Uh, no, I'm going to speak my mind. Thank you very much. You see, what this festival needs is leadership. Pardon? I cannot believe you brought that up here. Not here, not now. Leadership. Leadership. That was never proven in court. If you, those court subsidies were legitimate. Bush League, Jambor! Bush League! Rolling. Um, this was my uh, commercial. Uh, I left in a hot car. So this is my commercial. And I should I should have been spending my time at the beginning of this commercial talking about the campaign and not my commercial. And I, I'm not running a very good campaign. And, um, you know, I'm sorry to waste your time. Do you guys validate 